नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टुडे आई आई विल गेट सम शेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट व्हाट इज द जीआईएस टुडे इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर अबाउट द जीआईएस सो फर्स्ट आई विल गो विद द uh in intro what is gis so gis is stand for the geographic information system and it is the computerized system for capturing storing taking uh and displaying data related to the position on the earth surface so gis can use any information that include the location that location can be expressed in the different ways as um, different coordinate system like the latitude and the longitude of your area and the address or the zip code for example using the gis a single map could include the sites that produce the pollution such as the factories and the sites that are sensitive to the pollution such as the wetlands and rivers so uh, what type of the components was used for the gis so there are the different components like the apps that is the, that can be the mobile apps uh, and uh, first one is the satellite from which we record the data by the remote sensing process and for that we need the software hardware uh, which analyzes the data and which is further analyze and helps to prepare the different types of the maps uh, with the location of the earth real condition so uh, for the gis data format there are have i already uh, discussed that there gis application include the both the hardware and the software system so the application may include the cartographic data photographic data digital data or the data in the spread sets so what are the cartographic data it is the already in the map form and may include the source as the information like the location of the rivers roads hills and valleys cartographic data may also include the survey data and mapping information that can directly enter into the gis so next one is the photographic interpretation and it is also one, one of the major part of gis in the photo interpretation it generally involves the analyzing aerial photographs and assessing the feature that appears and for the next one the digital data can also be entered into the gis for an example of this kind of the information is the computer data which is collected by the satellites that show the land use in the real world of the earth that can be the location of the farms towns and the forest so this remote sensing provides the another another tool that can be integrated into the gis and remote sensing include the imagery and other data collected from the satellites balloons and the drones so uh, with this type of the data format finally gis can uh, include the data into the table or the spreadsheet forms such as the population demographics so you can see in the figure as well there are the different data layers like the data source can be the street data building data vegetation data which can be integrated in a single map form so once all the desired data have been entered into the gis system they can be combined to the produce a variety of the individual map so this one is the example of the soil classification of the nepal um so this data was analyzed with the soil old map which is gathered to the uh, satellite information uh, with the remote sensing process and it is used to make the soil classification of the nepal so in this way we can analyze the data from the satellite that is the satellite data uh from uh, which is observed through the remote sensing and that can be stored um, uh, analyzed and make the different types of the map for 
the applications of the different types of the projects so how the gis processed so i have already discussed that there is different layer of the data was present where which can be integrated so here in this one is the real old and this is the gis old model so in the gis old model there will be your data survey control water features there will be the boundaries address transportation elevation which helps to make uh, which is to make the map in an integrated form so gis can show them different kinds of the data on one map such as the street building and the vegetation and this enables the people to more easily see analyze and understand the patterns and relationship so how the gis processing can work with that format so what is the basically the gis file format so uh basically there are the two major type of the gis file format uh, this which was shown in the figure as well the one was the vector and second one is the raster file format so in the vector file format there is the customer streets and the parcel while if you see in the raster file format there was the elevation land use with the real old simulation so uh, generally the raster formats are grid of the cells or we can say the pixels size raster format are useful for storing the gis data that varies such as the elevation of the satellite imagery and next one is the vector format which was the polygons and that use the points called the nodes or the lines vector format are useful for storing the gs data with the form borders such as the school district or the street so here is the next picture which visualize what are the uh, data file format in the vector and the register generally the vector refers to the um, uh, points lines and the uh, polygons where is the if you see in the register there is the grid size cell with the points lines and the areas so uh, thank you for watching this now for the next lecture stay tuned in this channel